Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Today's episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Hi, everybody. Turn up the phones, please. Okay. I'm trying my new toy now that of course. I figured out yeah, last week. Took me a while. Phones are engaged, Mike. This is my new fun thing that I like doing. This is fun. I enjoy this. Who could we be calling? It's Outgoing Call Monday. Mm. Mm. Hello? Mrs. O'Mara? She's not in. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> 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 what are you yeah. doing? That was a sick burn. Mm-hmm. You know what? I am at Publix looking at center cut bacon, BOGO, baby. Oh, nice. look at that. Yeah, well, you know, now that I'm on the My Fitness Publix. app today, you know, bacon, I've had I've had 60 calories so far today. Bacon. <laughs> what's, what's 60 calories? A tablespoon of honey oh, for good. my tay. For my okay. tea, that's it. Don't you usually okay. get a breakfast, Mike? Like a full I, I usually get a breakfast. breakfast. I usually get a home cooked breakfast. Doesn't before, the talent while I'm eat doing before my, the show? Yeah, it usually. What happened? Yeah, Otherwise, the talent has a lack of energy. What happened? That's a long story. Oscar's referencing the fact that uh, our old producer Lisa Herndon, yes. who, uh, <laughs> uh, who is a very very energetic young lady, and uh, we were having some sort of uh, promotion in the hallways. And they brought free food in for the listeners. And uh, she went down the hallway screaming, Don and Mike eat first. That's right. Which is the worst thing you could do to a fat person. You know, so. uh, are you coming home anytime soon? Um, after I'm done grocery shopping. Okay, good. I'm not uh, feeling yeah. so well. How, how's your cold? How's your, oh, I, I guess I, I should I'm have feeling, asked that first. Yeah, I'm feeling low energy today. Yeah, Maybe you need some, of that, need some of that BOGO bacon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum. <laughs> Center cut BOGO bacon. What's yeah. the brand on it? It's Oscar Mayer. That's really, yes. that's strong Woo! bacon right there. Quality. Yeah. You think so, Rob Spiewak? You I think do. that's if, good if bacon? For thin cut bacon, that's about the best you can get. Although I'm a thick really? cut guy, yeah. Yeah, all right. I love right, Oscar Mayer. It's my favorite bacon. Me too. And, and, and you love Oscar too, right? Yes, of course. Aww, Oscar Santana right center, guy, yeah. center cut bacon. <laughs> All right. Well, yes. I was just che- I was just checking my phone out. Uh, and how the little oh, guy cool. do? How the drop off do with the little guy? Not well. He lied to me. <gasps> oh, how did he lie? Yeah. How did he lie? <laughs> oh dear. Hold so, on. Hold on. He lied. Wait a minute. Car. That requires a sound effect. He lied to you. We were in the car, and he said that he has to go to the principal's office when he cries. And I said, well, I'm sure it's not meant to be a punishment, you know. Maybe they just don't want you crying around the other kids. And he said, yeah, it's a punishment. I said, really? I said, well, what's the name of the lady that you go to? Who's the principal? She goes, you know, Nicole. I said, okay, well, as soon as we get to school, I'll talk to Nicole about this. And so we get to school. I talk to Nicole. And he said, that's not true. (laughs) So, So let me see if I've got this straight. He's hating school so much. That yeah. he's creating narratives to make it sound worse than <laughs> like, it is. It's a scenario exactly. of distrust. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, so, my God. There I was with him to my side asking Nicole, you know, hey, what's going on with this? And she's like, nope, nope. He doesn't, mm-mm. It's just not the case. Hold it. Oh. Just, I mean, just let's explore every avenue. Is there anything that Nicole could benefit from covering this up? No. No. Okay, just checking. No. What do you think her name is? Kavanaugh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Rip. Nicole Rob, said, really. "I like beer." Like Nicole's like involved, you're yeah. gonna take. <laughs> I like beer. Hey, 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 Rob, Rob, and I still like beer. Yeah, and I still <laughs> like beer. And I and still like beer. The like ultimate. Beer. He the, said that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh you didn't, didn't see that? this? No, man. I've this is working. all over. This is all over viral videos. Maniac. They've done. They've done. Uh, they've done the thing with uh, Pulp Fiction. They Matt oh, Damon played Kavanaugh on Saturday Night Live, which was hysterical. It was great. And the and the and he ended with the ultimate alcoholic switcheroo when he says and what do you drink <laughs> let's not talk about me how about yeah. you yeah, yeah. Like great great comedy fodder uh so well, uh, you caught him admit. in the, what what happened after you caught him in Did the he cave oh he said he lied he said right away he's like you're right yep i lied just so i don't want it because i don't want to go to school he said it right away 
Cave. Oh, man. <laughs> That's difficult. That's yeah. difficult. Yeah. He doesn't like school. He doesn't like school. He's like his father. <laughs> he doesn't like school at all. He doesn't like school. You didn't even yeah. like school when you were like in the preschool and kindergarten I age? Know. Listen, I know. Right, li- all right. We have to move along. But listen, when you pick him up today, uh, yeah. tell him he's not allowed to go to Tobin's house to lift weights <laughs> and he can't see Squee. <laughs> Okay, All right. he, okay. he can't see Squee, and he, he just. Can't are you gonna play, Are you gonna play Devil's Triangle with him tonight? <laughs> no more Devil's Triangle. No, no more, no more of that. Devil's Triangle. All right, I love you. Ha- enjoy okay. your your shopping you trip, too. and uh, we'll see you uh, later for my fitness pal. That's my okay. fitness Bye, pal, Jay. Carla. Yep. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. That's her. All right, phone's working. That's wonderful. Yeah. So uh, the Saturday Night Live had Matt Damon play. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh. I have a highlight from it. I mean, I wasn't going to play this it in the vault. This is funny. This, this Oscar, this was I can't believe funny. I missed this. Oh, it was, this was, I, were you shocked when he came out? It, it was totally, fun. It totally I, I wasn't blew my shocked. I, I, Saturday Night Live does these massive productions now, so well, I also, I'm not Also, before I play it, I have to mention this. Remember, this is the episode they had five months to write, so don't expect it to be good next week, but it was right. good this week because they had five months to write. Here's Matt Damon as Brett Kavanaugh. Judge Kavanaugh, are you ready to begin? Oh, hell yeah. (laughs) Let me tell you this. I'm going to start at an 11. I'm going to take it to about a 15 real quick. He does the job. I'm here tonight because of a sham, a political con job orchestrated by the Clintons and George Soros and Kathy Griffin (laughs) and Mr. Ronan Sinatra. Now, I am usually an optimist. I'm a keg is half full kind of guy. (laughs) But what I've seen from the monsters on this committee makes me want to puke and not from beer. (laughs) Dr. Ford has no evidence, none. Meanwhile, I've got these. I've got these calendars. (laughs) It's beautiful. Creepy calendar. <laughs> That's it. He did the cry so it, perfect. It was that good. Yeah. It was that, I, it was, it was that good at the beginning. It. It, Shame on he, me. I, look, I come from the same area, New England and Matt David. We get the whole jock thing. Everybody around the country. It's sure. not New England centric. But the, the whole jock thing is like Squee and Tobin. Yeah. It's just like, but to remember, because I think he's got, a, he's probably got close to a photographic memory type of thing. Yeah. Because he's that accomplished academically. You have to have that, you have to Skill have those set. chops yes. to be able to do that. But sure. the way he referenced, uh, and I, I've been thinking about it a lot. And what's been nice, I haven't been thinking about it in a depressed way. I've been thinking about it in a comedic way. Yeah. And he mentions those those jocks. And it, it, he sounded like it was last week yep. that he went to Tobin's house to lift weights. It's like, I grew up with these guys. Mm-hmm. I know the jo- Everybody knows the jocks like that. Yep. Where it's Tobin and Squee. 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 Yeah. And, and they tapped into that. So it was, uh, it was big fun. But uh, it doesn't take away from the fact that my wife's getting center cut bacon. <laughs> It'll be there soon. Can I ask a, a yeah. follow up for the lifting weights deal? Yes, well, yes, go right ahead. And 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 feel and this isn't a knock. I remember my house was the house to go lifting weights at because my brother had uh, an actual bench in the basement. Okay, and right. we'd all go down there, and there wasn't a lot of lifting weights. There was a lot of talking and calling off uh, the the rotary phone that my mom had in the basement <laughs> to see what was going on at other people's houses. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's social. That's all it yeah, was. It's, social. it's yeah. a hangout. The only place I ever saw. All real lifting of weights were the people that were actually going to Division One schools and they were lifting and working out instead of just hanging out and then smoking cigarettes in between sets. Right. Uh, right? Well, you know what, it, it, Oscar, you and I could talk about lifting weights, but if you really want to get to the bottom of who did the most power lifting in high school, we have to defer to uh, Mr. Rob Spiewak. Rob, yeah. so uh, w- when you were in theater arts yes. in uh, school, how many, uh, can you t- give me your best estimation of how many weights you lifted in uh, high school? It would have to be an estimate because I was more about right. the burn than the actual, you know. More, more about the burn. Yeah, I'm, I'm not asking you to be totally specific. Okay, I can, I can you, sort of uh, noodle it. And through, I'm going to give him the hand cue right now and be prepared to p- do your own kicker. Here. Okay. This is what this is what he excels at. <laughs> Uh, so, so it's about the burn. You don't know. You remember right. specifically, but uh, you know. Where, well, first of all, where did you lift? Uh, well, we used to live. We lived. We used to live backstage. <laughs> <laughs> We'd pull the curtain <laughs> <laughs> backstage at the uh, theater at the high school at the, theater, at the James Madison High School theater. <laughs> we had a red velvet curtain that we would pull, and it made the stage sort of like a. I like to call it an arena. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. an arena for lifting. Yeah. Okay. And while I cannot tell you exactly how much I weighed, I will tell you this. No, no. How much weight you lifted? Not how much you. The question. Yeah. How much weight I lifted? Yes, yes. Yeah. You were saying how much I weighed. You, no, no. I want to make sure you understand. Oh, I understand the notion. The question was how much weight during high school yeah. you lifted. You know, lifted weights. Not how much you weighed. No, no. I understand Just, that. Do you, do you understand where we're, where we're going do. with this? What okay, kind of equipment wanna, did you guys use? Well, the the amount of weight that I was able to lift. Yes. I want to tell you this. Okay. I had all the mascara in my makeup bag. Okay. <laughs> It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Who was this Leonard Zelig? All that was known of him was that he was the son of a Yiddish actor named Morris Zelig. The elder Zelig's second marriage is marked by constant violent quarreling. So much so that although the family lives over a bowling alley, it is the bowling alley that complains of noise. They punish him often by locking him in a dark closet. When they are really angry, they get into the closet with him. On his deathbed, Maurice Zelig tells his son that life is a meaningless nightmare of suffering. And the only advice he gives him is to save string. And then, suddenly, increasingly strange behavior. I'm convinced that it's glandular in nature, and although there's no evidence now of any misfunction, I'm sure that further tests will show a problem in the secretions. I'm certain it's something he picked up from eating Mexican food. Now, this uh, patient is suffering from a uh, brain tumor, and I should not be surprised if within several weeks he died. Now, we have not as yet been able to locate the tumor, but we're still looking. Ironically, within two weeks' time, it is Dr. Besky himself who dies of a brain tumor. Leonard Zelig is fine. Leonard Zelig continues to astound scientists at New York's Manhattan Hospital. He is confronted by two overweight men at the request of the doctors. As the men discuss their obesity, an initially reticent Zelig joins in, swelling himself to a miraculous 250 pounds. What will they think of next? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak. Oscar Santana. Oh, yeah. And now, from his office chair, here's Mike. From our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and the Podcast Village Studios, welcome to the Mike O'Mara Show. The Mike O'Mara Show, or TMOS to our friends, is a worldwide radio show and podcast with a loyal following of listeners who get it. If you're listening right now, you do too. TMOS, always ready to hear from you with our weekly mailbag, our wide-open Wednesday phone calls. Our show is an interactive experience, and we love our audience participation. So please let us hear from you. All over the world, the Mike O'Mara Show is on now and brought to you by our favorite NorCal realtor, his name from Northern California, I give you Alex Pay. Woot! Don't be a rube. Now is the time to buy a home. Hey, interest rates are going to rise by the end of the year. Right now is the best time to buy. According to analysts, they're going to go up, up, up. Everything I'm reading about it ind- uh, you know, indicates that's going to happen. Sure. Invest in your future. Let Alexander Papp show you how. He makes it easy from finding your perfect home to writing an aggressive offer, working you through the home inspections, and even finding you a great lender for your loan and pre-approval. And he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He makes it easy. Wake up and find your dream home. Alexander Papp rated five out of five stars on all the real estate sites. Alex is ready to answer any questions about the real estate process. He'll make it smooth and stress-free. Plus, he loves TMOS. So if you're out there in NorCal and you want to get uh, a commiseration with a guy, that loves TMOS as much as you do, just call Alex. Here's his regular phone, his cell phone, 916-276-2129. That's 916-276-2129. Stop renting. Call Alex, the NorCal Realtor today at 916-276-2129. BRE 019-86031. Prato Real Estate. Buy a home and get a Rob Spiewak fruit. So Publix is your go-to grocery store down there? Oh, most definitely. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, a Publix. Excellent prepared foods. Now, I'm sure you could uh, look up Publix and probably find a scandal of some kind oh, uh, no. somewhere you no. know, about that. But uh, yeah, that's the one. Not Food Line. No, Food Line would have their share of scandal. And I think Arr. Safeway would have some bad ink as well. Uh, you know, we Giants. rarely talk about the calendar no on this show, but it is the first day of October. So we have to say pumpkin. <laughs> Duh! 
Oh, hey, I bought pumpkin one. Pumpkin duh. I bought pumpkin one. Duh. I bought one this weekend. You bought a pumpkin on October 1st. No, I bought a pumpkin on September 29th. Oh, my God. It was a deal. They had them at Costco. Beautiful. They look like, Mike, the variety I believe you were looking for is the, the classic jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, the Howden pumpkin. Isn't it time well, to just go all plastic these days? We can't you know put what? a candle in plastic. No, Here we just is. plug it in. Lights up. I, I analyze my fellow Americans uh, based on IHOP commercials. If you want to see the Valid. steady march of dumbing of America, if you want to see the, the stampede towards uh, the idiocracy that we are heading to in this country check out the 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 basics of an ihop commercial where they're selling sugar and flour at an absolute premium uh and it's it's just loaded with pumpkins pumpkin spice pumpkin we are all becoming more childlike as the stresses this is this has been my my incredibly dire and dismal prediction for the state of society in the United States for many, many years. As the pressures become greater, as we become less and less uh, able to take care of each other, we are more and more inclined to uh, get excited about our diversions. Our diversions, uh, the NFL, all sports for that matter, uh, holidays like Christmas and Halloween. Adult websites. Yeah. <laughs> Pornography would be a diversion. I'm you, you know what? Oscar yes. really does keep his eye on the prize, doesn't There's, he? Well, there there, he, is, it's, there it's is a world vitamin and no D world. epidemic, and no pun intended. People aren't getting enough sun because they I stay in their so. homes all day doing that. Video games. Vitamin yeah, video D. games. Right. And, uh, and these wonderful little devices, our phones that we are so engaged with, we are escaping the only way we can. What we're not doing is we're not propping each other uh, up like back in the day. You know, f- where you have what? Face Facing the facts. We're not facing the facts. Remember, back in the day, you'd have a barn raisin, right? You'd right. go down and uh, the neighbors and you'd help them out. And grandma and grandpa lived in the house. You know, and right they'd now, torture for we, the insurance we, money. We, 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 will you stop it? I'm right. trying to make oh, a point right, here. Excuse me. We, we now, uh, we now live. What happened? Did the lights go off over there? No, no. Uh, no, we're still here. Right. It just changed. That's interesting. Oh. Looks oh. good. I think Pony finally readjusted the uh, settings on the camera. No, I think well, we, had, we adjusted before we actually linked up. We you haven't know, done anything. I'm sorry, I got clothes. ADD. I'm, it's okay. Uh, I'm a, no, Look, it's just a squirrel. Like, eh, and now, I, Rob, by the way, if you want to see, uh, um, I, I don't have the light bulb in my hand here, but if you want to see what Rob does to a video <laughs> picture, there's so much surface area that is white. <laughs> That on a camera that I'm looking at yes. down here as I'm monitoring it, it is fluorescent. It is powder day glow white. Yes. White light. If I, if you stare at Rob's head too much on a camera, you'll feel like you're going to be passing away. That you're well, actually I feel, when walking I wear, into the light. If I That's were to wear a white shirt, it does give off the, es- the essence of Mr. Freeze, as played yeah. by Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's scary. Yeah. It, it's scary. But... Uh, my point is, we love our diversions, and that's why we can't get Halloween quick enough. We can't get our, our and little And where do you stand Christmas, on Halloween? You know? Where do you stand uh, on Because, you know, I love as Thanksgiving. As far as the holiday is concerned? I love Christmas. You know this. But I'm, I don't like Halloween. I don't think Halloween mm. is a valid, and I think there's too much made of it. And the fact that we're 31 days out now, and people have already started, not okay with that. Uh, here's my theory on Halloween. Although I do I, have a pumpkin I, on my porch that's more about the season of the ooh, harvest, less about Halloween. Very cool. When you, uh, as far as having the kids come to the door, the great tradition of Halloween, mm. uh, where in my neighborhood, uh, it was just always every house, every you went to every sure. house. And that doesn't exist where I live anymore. It didn't, uh, you know, 20 years ago, it didn't exist. And now you have to go to the, the big, like, uh, moment where the, the churches or the shopping malls mm-hmm. or whoever has the trunk or treat because, you know, there's so many creepoids that are out there handing out oh, yeah, the razor new thing, blades. The new, you know, it was always razor blades and apples when we were growing up. The new one right. I'm hearing about is that people are sneaking into produce sections and putting needles in strawberries. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't Gross. that? Uh, but I, I didn't. Uh, I never got a strawberry uh, on Thanksgiving. Yeah, but so you have I to. But uh, you have to be careful when you're shopping. I mean, is what I'm saying. Halloween. It's a very. No. I was not a big Apple fan either. I'm not. I'm a fan of Halloween because of uh, having a little person. Yeah, I but, guess but, you know ha- that's but true. Halloween. Maybe 30 years ago, 20 years ago, maybe less than that. Halloween became right about the same time that I was coming up as a uh, baby DJ. So about 35, 40 years ago, you know we. Halloween became the adult holiday where 
uh, you know, the adult costumes. And it became bigger and bigger and bigger for the parties and everything else. In fact, uh, back at WABA, we had some massive Halloween parties, did the same thing at WJFK, and it became the, the adult. I think Halloween, like all of these uh, wonderful holidays with fancy men that dress up and go, you know goblins and they it ought to be the children's holiday ah, it should be for valid. the kids but in this stressful stressful world we live in we think more along the lines of how can we get the diversion out I, of it look, that's it, it the, everybody has their own i guess the only the only the only way the only way they can look through their lens for halloween is how their own neighborhood attracts kids right right so my mother uh, has a ton of candy at her house. I was just there this weekend. 2,000 pounds. Too much for our neighborhood. I said, you know. Wh- Almost ev- as much mascara as you had in that bag when you were lifting. Mike, weight. I was ripped. <laughs> Be it backstage. <laughs> backstage. Like with with the curtain drawn. Right. <laughs> I say to her, Mom, there aren't that many little kids in the neighborhood anymore. She goes, oh, no. Like, new kids are here. And they're they're coming all the time. I guess ever since last year, because my mom used to get, give me the old. There are no everybody's growing up. You know what? People move out. They downsize. They move south, right. and then new families come in with kids. So do you have kids? I mean, we have a uh, bunch uh, of kids. Are the Auville children all grown now? They're all grown uh, up. Uh, but there's a new right. family that moved next door, and they're all little kids. And my mom said that she never thought she'd see like this cycle of families come through generationally through the neighborhood yeah so she's pumped to give out candies and she goes are you excited for halloween he said no chance the last time we had halloween in georgetown people stomped in my 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 hood i remember that. oh that's right you were vandalized vandalized because, because by that, my once again, people yeah, my the, people but that once again they bust them is in, Mike. what you you re, you thought it was hispanic people that did it oh, is yeah. that, uh, i that. know this i had this big nah! <laughs> I got off. I got See, off. there's in, in only Mike, the circle of life has happened. Yes. Where there you the go. older children have moved out and younger children have moved in. And you Absolutely. hold them up to the sky it's and you beautiful. say trick or treat. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, yeah. The security footage we saw was a kid getting rolled and a bunch of kids that were that looked like me and looked like Toddy uh, were running toward, away from the, the fight. And you just saw what was like a pack of antelope. Jumping on the hood of my car, <laughs> running away from the cops. Oh, and I said, so they did. They actually dented the car whilst they were running, running away. Running wow. away. And I said, well, that's why my neighbor said, I thought she was being racist. She wasn't. She said, Halloween gets kind of crazy here. <laughs> <laughs> it did. But but the, the whole thing about Georgetown and Halloween, that's ground zero for ground us. adult party. Zero. And mm-hmm. there's always somebody. And the predators come in yes. to deal with the people that are in their costumes and getting drunk. I'll never forget Don and I chased by a McDonald's French fry uh, because he <laughs> lost the uh, the costume. You will never saying, again you. judge. You will you. never, never again judge. judge. Contest after that. Never. Never judged after that. Fry. No, let, yeah. let the audience applause do it and that type of thing. But it is a, an adult holiday. If it was if it was required that everybody hand out Halloween candy, uh, it would be hysterical in this neighborhood because there are two children right. in my yes, neighborhood. Yes, there yes. are two kids. Maybe well, there's a baby down the street, a an baby. infant down the street, a little bitty baby. But <laughs> that's what uh, my favorite Halloween moment uh, always have been: sitting there with my wife uh, on Halloween night and having kids come by and knock on the door but even going back to when i lived in haymarket virginia in suburbia usa and i had a nice big house i remember this telling the story when my daughters were little Mm -hmm. that that one of the neighbors hid in the bushes because they didn't want to deal with that because people suck turn the lights off you know (laughs) i have in my neighborhood it's pretty much tainted i've been tainted by halloween tainted love in my neighborhood because it's townhouses you know they're all stacked up we get a pretty good return on kids and You've I used always to, had wonderful Halloween. It's almost Aren't you get your worth, neighbors drunk? Uh, well, yeah, it's the thing. I will have uh, airline bottles of booze and cold beer to hand to the parents. I did, I used to oppose the parents that sat on the steps to greet the kids. I like to make the kids climb the steps and ring the bell because I think that is sort of I, daunting. I kind of like that. I, That's I daunting that. and it makes them earn it. However, now that I have a dog, it doesn't make a lot of sense because the dog goes crazy and tries to run out every time we open the door. Lock, put Linus in the bathroom for Halloween. Put him in the bathroom. Lock him in the bathroom. Well, Carrie's already locked do. herself in the bathroom. 
<laughs> okay. But I mean, that is the way around. They're hiding. By yeah, way, you that's do true. Know Everyone's that, right? hiding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, do, well, you know, do, I could. Do, I, you do know that, don't you, kindest man in the world? That, you know, if you're having like a well, workman come over or something, well, no, what you we do is we put him the in the animals. We, like put we, him in the, we put him in the basement. He has the whole basement to himself. However, oh, I have some news on that front. I, I, oh, I'm do you sorry, do? I hate to digress. That's yeah. fine. Uh, but this is the latest. Uh, this is what Beluga was doing last night. Oh. Clack, 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 clack. Clack, 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 clack. Clack, 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 clack. I'm finally there. I cannot watch 60 minutes with this dog who is so out of it, he walks back and forth trying to figure out where he is. So he's he's just wandering the house now? Like, he's been doing it forever, but now it's like times twenty. Like, Remember, I like told Jacob you when we got the Marley. hardwood floor. <laughs> yes. We got the we got the laminate floor, and it's like clack 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 clack. Now this it's just my, it's constant. It's my, it's his thing. It's, it's what dog, he does. Lady Macbeth. Maybe he's getting his steps in <laughs> on his Fitbit. <laughs> but anyway, I was ta- you were talking about Halloween. I'm yeah, sorry. and so now I've gotten into what is sort of a tradition in our neighborhood, where you you sit out there, and uh, some people have like a little fire pit, and then you know if it's cold, and you you talk to the kids. You talk to them. It's very social, and I enjoy that. And that I like being like the guy that hands out beers to the because no one wants so to where walk are with the you kids. on the steps. Are you at the top of the steps on your or little the landing? Scoop? Um, sometimes there's our steps go down and then take a turn to the driveway, right. and so I yeah. normally will sit on the turn or I will get a folding chair and actually sit at my driveway. You'll tailgate in front of your sit yes. at the end of your driveway. Yeah, uh, yeah. all right. And uh, now what and the is kids the will setup? be in on that too. I mean, Robert will like to hang out there and watch Julia more than Robert. Actually, they like to see the costumes. Is your wife with you when you do? <laughs> no. Where is she your wife? Answer seriously. No. I, She's not? I think it's pretty much a one-person job. She may stick her head out, but no, it's m- more of a one-person job. She has job. nothing to do What's with it? What's she doing in there? Oh, she's napping. Does she have nothing to do with it, really? No, Does she really, she not? I, I, she's not that into it, I don't think. Really? Okay. Oh, you know so what? Maybe I'll invite you. her to come out. Do you get baked when you're out there? Do you get? I have. I, I don't get too loaded because you, you, you have okay. responsibilities. Oh, because he's just he's having fun. He's tailgating. Yeah, you, t- you, you can't tailgating. get loaded. Yeah, you're around children. You don't want to be. Well, this is a nice Spider-Man suit hey, you got there. Yeah. Hey, you know it'd be yeah, great it's if your mom dressed up as a sexy nurse. Yeah. You're By gonna be way, a knockout in five years. Uh, so that's happy too October first to the All end right. of the month is when we'll be talking about Halloween and. Ha- how, where do you line up on pumpkin as far as the flavor? A pumpkin, I, you, first of all, know this, ladies and gentlemen. Pumpkin is a squash, and squash has no discernible flavor of its own. Yeah, pumpkin it's the tastes, seasoning. Pumpkin right. tastes the way you cook it. And so, yeah, I like nutmeg. I like cinnamon. These are all good flavors, but you don't need to label it pumpkin. Just call it nutmeg or cinnamon. <laughs> I agree. I agree with them. 1,000%. And uh, what will you And the doing? worst what? of all is zucchini. Screw that. That's a bad well, squash. But could you make zucchini... Tastes yes. like pumpkin pie. Well, if have you, you, have you not ever had zucchini bread? Yeah, it's the same. It's just type a, of it's thing, just right? the notion of it's Don't. a moistening agent that keeps a a stupid flat bread tasting like cinnamon or chocolate or whatever the hell else you put in it. Cherries, if you want. <laughs> So as far as a pumpkin candle or pumpkin spice latte or a pumpkin pumpkin, you uh, you're not a, you're not about that. Not a hundred percent. No. Mm-mm. All right. Very good. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> oh, there, oh. We covered it. We won't be talking about. <laughs> I'll it for be the rest in of the Las month. Vegas on Halloween next year. You're going to be this in year, Vegas this year, this year, this, year, year? this year, this year, actually, and next year, every year. It's a tradition because I'm going a day early for the Zappos setup. Oh, that's oh, right. On wow. Halloween. So you're going out on when is that? Wednesday or Thursday or it's, Tuesday? It's on a well, it's Wednesday. On the 31st it's on a Wednesday. this year. Yeah, Wednesday. And I remember booking the flight. I was like, why are these flights so cheap to get into Vegas at night, in the in the dead of night? Because nobody wants to fly on Wednesday night in the middle of, of Which is Halloween. Of Halloween. When you arrive, will you arrive? Do you think the town will be going crazy in Vegas? I feel like Vegas is probably a holiday that would be fun on Halloween. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm going to be off the strip. So we'll have to see. It'll be interesting to see. I bet the, yeah, the, one of the yeah. funnest things to do in Vegas on Halloween is to go up to someone and guess, are they dressed as William Macy in the cooler, <laughs> or are they just <laughs> looking like that? <laughs> well, happy pumpkin Halloween, yes. children. Uh, you know, enjoy enjoy your festive month. It's here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think what it is, I think Halloween is responsible for masking the fact that October just plain sucks. Uh, we'll, uh, hey, we'll it's the unofficial break. start of the holidays. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? Uh, we'll take a break. Come back with more fun and more. I'll tell you all about my sick house again right <laughs> here on the Mike O'Mara Show. And I return to talk about Las Vegas, baby. Oh. Since UP1 sold out the TMOS live show so fast, well, the very next day, 
Die Laughing Productions presents Back to the 80s. It involves a high school reunion, a 30-year-old time capsule, and somebody getting whacked. Everybody gets to guess who the killer is. So go on Saturday, November 3rd at the Zappos Council Chamber Theater. For ticks, click on theater. the banner theater. on the Michael Merrill website. Sad and now let's get back to the man who always has an alibi, Michael Mara. Welcome back to the Michael Mara Show. Thank you, Paulie. Hey, we've been talking about fall. It's October 1. How do you know it's official? Well, for some people, it's the changing leaves or the first day of school. But for me, it's the return of of Mrs. Meyer's fall seasonal scents. Yes! Now, we've been talking about pumpkin pumpkin. How about this scent? This is a real good one. Mum. Yes. Oh, That's great. That's right. How about apple cider? Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now you're talking. And this year, you might have given me a heads up. <laughs> Mrs. Meyer's has released a brand new seasonal scent. Ooh! It's great. <laughs> you love it. It's awesome. <laughs> The scent I is fantastic. On and on. And on. And you should go on now. And on. You should go on. And you didn't say a word. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. What's that scent, Mike? Pumpkin. It's fantastic. <laughs> it smells exactly how it looks. Clean, simple, and cozy. It's yes. distinctly fall. But smells so good, I like to use it year-round. It's the best. <clears throat> when you place your first order of $20 from Grove, you'll get a free fall set in your choice of scents. Apple cider, pumpkin, or mum. Mum's the word. Mum. Hey, hey. Mum. It includes Mrs. Meyer's. Uh, that's simply the best stuff it is there. The best. Oh, it's the greatest. Uh, Mrs. Meyer's fall hand soap, dish soap, multi-surface spray, and more. My family has fallen in love with Mrs. Myers. There is no finer product on the market. If you spend $39, you'll also receive a free Grove cleaning caddy to organize all your favorite supplies. Grove has you covered for all your cleaning needs as you head into fall. Amazing natural household products from brands like Mrs. Myers, Method, and 7th Generation. Grove is so cool, I might actually start house cleaning myself. I love that line. Take it out. Uh, if you've been thinking about trying uh, Grove Collaborative, this is your chance. When you sign up using your link, you get the free fall set plus free shipping and a free 60-day VIP trial. But you must hurry. This offer expires November 4th. Go to grove.co slash TMOS to get started. That's grove.co slash TMOS. Remember, not grove.com, grove.co slash TMOS. And we thank you. Perhaps the easiest way, click the button on our website. They'll click take the you button. right there. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Happy you, thank you, thank you. Monday, thank you. everybody. Uh, yeah, so uh, welcome back to the show. My uh, wife got what I got, what my kid got, and so it's uh, it's fall. It's still 100 degrees yes. in the great state of South Florida. Uh, that's not a state. That's a region of a state. But, uh, yeah, they're sick. Carla's sick. My kid's sick, and I think it might be circling around with me, which will be one of those years where you have the three months of illness, which yeah. uh, people have gotten before, where you just go through the family, and it kind of circulates well, also, with that. Also, there's so. a beautiful delivery. Uh, delivery system of dropping him, him him off at school every day yes he'll pick absolutely. up anything and bring it back home that's that's the way it is but uh we made it through and uh my wife was out and about uh helping friends all weekend uh, there was a uh, friend in the neighborhood who was moving so i didn't have her saturday didn't have her much of sunday no i had her i didn't have her for all day friday didn't have her uh, all day saturday but she took the little guy with her, so I was free to uh, to go to the Costco myself ah. and uh, and run errands, and uh, it was wonderful. And really, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. There's usually something that goes on in my world, something that happens to my life. I had uh, as I as I reflected on the weekend last night, I said to myself, "Wow, you know, it's really important that I have my my progeny around and my wife around because it's just it's a thousand degrees out." There's no way to leave the home, mm-hmm. and uh, the new cable that I have uh, limits my football. So all I had was a crappy Ryder Cup, and then waiting for my wife to come home, and she didn't come home, and so she was just uh, it was it was horrible. It was a really really crappy, uneventful, 
terrible weekend, and I'm here to tell you that's it. That's all I got. Just <laughs> crapola. That's it. Just all I my. Did you enjoy your time at, at Costco at least? Because if you went to Costco, what on a Saturday? You Isn't know, that, I could say that, but what I, kind you of know, statement I, is that? How do you enjoy shopping at Costco? You, you have don't. a little joy in your life. No, I, I went on joy. No joy. See, so I went on. Sad. I went on Saturday too. Is not joyful. It sucks. I went on Saturday too because my mother needed some items. Well, that's all you ever do on Saturday. No, that's, I never. You know no, you see, honest, that's you know a bold faced lie. I hate what? Costco on a Saturday. And here's the thing: my mom needed to go. <laughs> he I loves said, it on Tuesday and Thursday. I said Tuesday. Then and Tuesday. why did you? If you hate Costco on a Saturday, pumpkin man, how come you didn't tell me that I? You know, why did you ask me if I had any joy? I didn't have. You any see, joy. that was, I'm sucks. curious to see how your Costco is on Saturday because it was as, bat shit. Yeah, of it course was it is. Bat shit crazy. As, that's what it was. What, what is is what what is it? going to a store Figure and your thoughts with out and say them is the worst effing thing ever you see it was terrible staring I, at te- look i went to best buy this weekend yes staring at tvs nobody wanted to help nobody wants we need a, something new for the studio here i'm willing to spend money i'm making sure it's the right size they're on sale i was wondering hey sir can you help me this has a an open how box. How big one are we going to get for Podcast Village? How big is it going to be? Uh, it it all depends on the the studio build out. That's what it is. So really? I'm, I'm what just do you looking think? at what do you, How many inches do you figure? Uh, maybe many? 55. Nothing crazy, right? Yeah, all right. That's okay. nice. Yeah. Just checking. Mm. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Guys uh, like TVs and guys like uh, fire. There, my, Mike. There's a, a super sale on an 82 inch television, which I said. Oh. Why is that 82 inch television 1500 dollars off? I know it's open box because I'm thinking if that's as much as a 55 incher, why not get the yeah, 82? Step it right? up. Why not? Where would you put the 82 incher in? Oh, on a wall, just on a wall. Wow, it's just That'd one of these something. big walls, right? Mm, um, yes. And he he's like, oh. uh, it says right there on the sticker. I said, I know it says no remote, no remote, no stand, no. I can get a remote on any website anywhere. Yeah, and you can hang can it. Yeah. And, and most most Samsung televisions, the remote works on all of them. Right. And I said, um, okay, but it has a stand. And he says to me, the stand. Comes with the TV. I said, no, but this one says you don't have a stand. This is the clearance item, right? This is the one that's 82 inches. And he said, yeah. He goes, oh, we just say that to knock down the price. I'm like, that makes no sense. I you just mean tell they, the they, they lie. They lie to have because they can't figure out an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make any sense. And the excuse, man, that might be, I mean, what I would look at is that might be the TV is just too big and expensive and it's not selling, so they make something up to make it It seem like it's a It was an opportunity because if you looked at that line, and because I'm a dork, I do this, I say, let me look at all the other 82-inch televisions, including Vizio, and see if this is still cheaper. Right. Okay. And then I looked and I said, it's still cheaper. Wow. So I said, all right, well, I'll swing by on Monday. If no one's bought this, I'll pick it up in the evening, right? I was like, I don't have time for it now. I don't have a car. I don't have anything like this. Man, 82 inches. That's so something else. What yeah, I, what that's I did, what the biggest I, I've ever seen. Maybe. What I did say to him, I said, you know, when you guys have these little clearance stickers, it says you, a lot is wrong with it, but... When I ask somebody about it, they just say, yeah, that's what it says. Nobody knows what's wrong with the TV. That's the misnomer when you get an open box. And was the thing on display or was it in the box? No, it was on display and working. It all looked good. Because you know what? I roll into stores sometimes and you'll see a television that's like this phenomenal deal. And it looks like somebody, uh, you know, took a screwdriver. (laughs) Yes. And and like raked across the screen. Why do you even put those out? I know. I know a discount is a discount, you know. Those are the ones they put in the back corner. I'm not going to get the 42. I'm going to get the 50 inch. But the 50 inch looks like... uh, a velociraptor <laughs> had it in its talons. You're going to love and, the 55 inch, sir, because you can look in the back and see where the bulb goes because <laughs> right. there's a huge puncture wound in it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'm curious. You know, sometimes I, uh, I'll i order a phone online and then I'll crush it in my recliner. Yes. And, uh, and then, <laughs> then it'll be it'll be sold for sale. No, there's no way you sell. There's, there's, there's no way you sell. All oh, well. <laughs> Got a new case for it and everything. Look at that. Oh, That's awesome. yes. Look at that. Case. Yeah, cool. yeah, that is a That's solid wonderful. case. And you might say, uh, what do you use your brand new exciting phone for with all its wonderful capabilities? I use it to time the show. With <laughs> yes, it. and it is so That's accurate. What I do. Horribly it's accurate. It's incredibly accurate. Those are tenths of a second. Isn't that special? <laughs> Could you conceivably, Mike? Could you conceivably? I should just keep that up for the whole show. <laughs> Rob, we've only got one minute. What? Could you no, conceivably pause the clock and start it again? Does it have that feature? Yeah, I can uh, stop it and start it. 
Look at that. Absolutely. So what? Accurate to the tenth of a second. I wouldn't do that though. But no, it would mess with your running time. I walk around the corner and I'm at the Best Buy in Rockville. And look, their online experience, great. No problem. Were there Sometimes elderly people there? Because at the best, no, I don't the, get uh, that. I get, I get a lot of parents that aren't tending oh, to their oh, kids. That giant. Okay. A lot All of right. parents that graveyard that giant, giant across yes. the street, the grave, the cemetery <laughs> giant. You know those little little soccer balls that look like real soccer balls, but they're made out of leather. They're little, little smaller guys, and they're cushy. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm talking to the sales rep, and all I feel on my ankles is boom, 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 and I look back, and there's this little kid that I don't know. I have no idea whose family he's a part of, and he's throwing soccer balls into my ankles. And I'm like, I kick it back to him just like gently and like a nice guy would. Yeah, sure. And then hits me again. And I'm like, he wants attention because he's not getting it from his own family. Yeah, but I'm not. He wants to play. He's I'm acting not, the way Santos plays. I'm not data. I'm not data. Right. I'm, I, I don't know what's Papa. going on. I'm just trying to live my life. Dad comes circling around, and he sees that his son's doing this. You know what I would do? I would goon hand my kid and be like, what are you doing? That man's a stranger. How do you goon like, hand What does he say? Goon hand. You say goon, goon hand? hand him. What is right that? under the shoulder, <laughs> on the arm, and you yank him away. Yes. Goon hand him. Yeah. That's yeah. not goon quite abuse. Yes. jargon today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. what was that, Pony? It's not quite abuse. It's close, but it's it's not quite It's there. enough to know goon that I mean business, yeah. right? So more more little kids than elderly people at your uh, little Best Buy It's like store? a Toys R Us now, and they're wow. running around expensive equipment. Sure, refrigerators. That, that's why when they yeah, get- old people don't look that. They just need their groceries at the giant food store. <laughs> What do I That's need a new microwave no, for? The old people move is this. I'll show you. There were old people there. This is what it is. TV's right in front of me. This is a good video day. Right. And then this is what they do. They put their arms behind them, right? right. And then they yeah. lean Oh, that's the class. Oh, he's right. Ah! He's right. That's the, that's like the classic. Like they're on the loose. Hands behind. Like they're yes, on yes. the loose. <laughs> <laughs> Hands behind the back. Yeah. Like they're that's Olympic the skiers. Way. And I'm like, dude, yeah. you're going to tip over. And then it's curtains for that TV. Doris? <laughs> you have to go. I don't see you, any you, pixels, Doris. <laughs> you have to go down the road to uh, Rockville Pike to the Cemetery Giant. You yes. used to be across the, uh, from the studio we were in. And uh, but I don't want to say people where this was the the oldest demographic of any grocery store I've ever been in, but uh, you could be in line at the 15 items or less counter, Mm -hmm. and you could be in line and this would happen. (laughs) Right in front of you. Right in front of 85 your mind, and they say, clean up an aisle one. (laughs) They just bring, and they bring the hearse right in. They they, they would be (laughs) idling outside the way they have an ambulance outside of a high school football game. Just in case. Just in case. So so that's the, and then you get to the foreign level. And this happens anywhere in this area. God bless them. I'm a foreigner. I know, sure. right? So I hear this lady and these Best Buy employees, they're super nice. They got to be patient. They're dealing with the dollars of dollars. We're all of them. I have dumb questions as well at times. Sure. But this, this one Latin lady couldn't get Alexa to recognize her. She had such a thick accent. Oh, so no. the gentleman is Ayexa. trying. Ayexa. Ayexa. Uh, the gentleman is trying to, who speaks Spanish as well. So he starts speaking Spanish to her. I was like, oh, that's nice. Yes. And the lady is yelling into the Alexa, but it won't recognize her thick accent. And the guy's like, no, 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 like this. It was a back and forth where I was like, I have to leave. I didn't buy a single thing. I left the store. I said, I'll buy this online. I'll buy all of this online. (laughs) Tell me the way there. Tell me the way there, okay? Okay, I want to know how it's the temperature outside, okay? Are you going to get me sure I put a coat on, okay? Yes, uh, Alexa, should I wear the rojo coat or the, lap- <laughs> the lapis coat? Uh, and if, no, lapis is a pencil. The, 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 greatest, the greatest thing at Cemetery Giant, and I saw it a lot there, and it was something I dealt with when I checked, old people love coin purses, and sometimes it's the kind that you squeeze and it opens up. It's like mm-hmm. a plastic. Oh, I, but then I there's a fancier one that's sort of leather that opens right. up as you open it, and they would love dumping change on the conveyor belt, and then it's a race with the devil because the conveyor belt is, is rolling. Oh, and they've got yes. to... They've got to pick out 29 cents, right? The change purse. The change purse, which was really the change purse, something that maybe a girl gets in the 1950s when yes. she's 14. And so, you know, they put your little change in here and they would open it up. There it's was terrible. one time that I was turned around because I was bagging and I heard the change go on the conveyor belt and I turned just to see about 88 cents go into the land of no return through the conveyor belt. In was there. there a place? You, you worked in the game, in the yeah. grocery game. Was there a place on the conveyor belt where the change would go? Well, yeah, I mean, you there's collect a, it later? you would pull a panel, and there's you know, it's, there's not they like had a, a change pan. There was not a pan; it was just, it would just go to the floor. But you'd have to go in oh, there to clean on the floor because okay. there was all that crap in there. And I turned around and I saw the eighty-eight cents go away, and I looked up, and the old man just looked at me and went, "Well." 
<laughs> oh, like, 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 get it yeah, for me? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, yeah. all right, old timer, I got to do it. But yeah, that's the right. worst. Is anyone who pours change so, out the, the worst? The joy that you spoke about going to a big box store. Yes. The thing there is, is no joy. No, no there won't I'm be any joy until long after the holidays are over. I knew, I see, and I was just gauging what the mood was because when I was with my mom on Saturday, I finally said, What is the matter with everyone here today? And then I said, it's Saturday. These aren't the people that aren't good at being at Costco. These are the rubes that are coming out on the weekend. You go to Costco at Or the two people and- that work their asses off all week, and this is the only opportunity yeah, they have to this, come out. Yeah, this is... Not everybody has a flex schedule. Thanks for your support. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not rubes. They just... That's the time they can that's get. The, I have one thing. This go, on a week to, this. go on a weekday evening, then. Um, but you you had a joyous weekend because you had a, a 16-year-old birthday for you. Exactly. Yeah, 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 and yeah, homecoming yeah, for the kids, yes. We'll do that when we come back. I want to leave you with one thought, ladies mm-hmm. and gentlemen. I do, and the thought the thought is this: that uh, when someone is shopping during this time of year, if these words come out of there, I need this. <laughs> I need to get this. Just look at them and say, "Do you really need it, or do you want it?" Yes. And they'll look at you like they want to stab you with a letter opener, but do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I That's the magic. For the Mike O'Mara show. Right. <laughs> Do you really need that? Oh, retail obsessed person like everybody. Anyway, <laughs> no. that's it. That makes me happy. That actually lifted a weight off my shoulders. I Just like that, that line yeah. right mm, there. Do yeah. you really? Do you need? You don't need. You want. You want, you want, you want, you want, you want, you want. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll find out <laughs> about something that truly is special. And that is Robert III turned 16 this Ooh. weekend. And it was also Julia's homecoming. That's right. Rob's kids are growing up, and I always love it when he talks about them. We'll uh, come back and do that right here on the Michael Mary Show. Hi, everybody. Hey, buddy. This is Nameberry reminding you to send Happy Halloween, in Nameberry. your mail for the mailbag that Rob reads on the Michael Mary Show. All you have to do is include it. Uh, send it to Rob with two Bs at MichaelMaryShow.com, and then maybe Barry. we'll read your message on the radio. He's Podcast. challenged. What about the address name, Barry? Shut up, Rob. <laughs> he's got an attitude. You he should really trick does. or treat at Name Barry's house this Halloween because he's handing out what he always hands out. Yep. Unwrapped hard candy. It's delicious. It's the best. <laughs> yeah, you get the lint off it. Welcome back to the Michael Mary Show. Brought to you by one of my favorite products in the whole wide world, Harry's. Yes. Here's a fact. I've never had a better shave than I get with Harry's. The best blades, the best shaving gel. I tear through the stuff. I love, love, love Harry's. I love their face wash. I love their shaving gel. But I especially love them Harry's razors. Let me tell you why. I don't, I, I don't keep track of how long I use them. Because I don't think I have ever done this. I have swapped out my Harry's razors when I think maybe it's the right time to uh-huh. do it. But I have never, and this is the God's honest truth, I have never changed a Harry's razor because I thought, oh, that feels dull. That's I've true. I've never done mm. that. I've never done that. And I mean, you know think what? about that. I use it to shave my head. Yes. And that will toast a cheap blade in no time. And I've ne- I've still never worn out a Harry's blade. They just can't do it. They were fed it. up at Harry's with overpaying, so they came up with their new comp- company. They bought a factory that's been making some of the highest quality blades for years. They sell directly to you over the internet. Harry's can offer their blades at two dollars a blade compared to four dollars or more for the leading brands. Plus, if you don't love your shave, let Harry's know within thirty days, and they'll give you a full refund. That's it. Get this special thirteen dollar value trial set that comes with everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. You get the handle. You get the razor. You you get the lathering shave gel. You get the travel blade cover. Our listeners can redeem their trial set at harrys.com slash TMOS. Make sure you go to harrys.com slash TMOS to redeem your offer and let them know I sent you to help support the show. Start saving while you're shaving, people. Yes, very good. Uh, so you posted a little bit on the weekend. It was a very family-oriented. You uh, took your little guy out who is now... 16 years old. You had a picture my, of him at DMV. He's driving. A, has he got his regular that was, driver's license? That, that picture, um, he was not sitting still long enough to get an actual picture on his birthday. That is from 16? a couple... 16? What do you mean sitting still? What is he, three? No, he was running around and doing stuff with his friends. That picture's from oh, okay. a couple months ago. That's when he so got his learning. You made it sound like he's like a five-year-old in a car seat. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's si- well, sit still. You're squirming. <laughs> um, uh, we, the, actually, the weekend started with the Tuscarora uh, homecoming game on Are you Friday still doing night. those? Still doing those, but there's Man. only... This is weird. Uh, Tuscarora Score got a bad football schedule this year. I think because they had such a great year last year, mm-hmm. they only got four home games. Are they still winning? And one of them is when I'm I've in got Vegas. A, uh, I've so got a clip. Rob was the announcer, yep. and uh, they welcomed him back. This is the crowd reacting to his announcement that Rob is going to be the announcer for Tuscarora this year. 
Oh, no. There it is. Four home games. They love you. Mike, they silver lining, though. They love you. It's silver lining. At least it was sold out. It was a good crowd. <laughs> uh, they did win 35-7. Are you and, saying ooh, they got a team, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the schedule? Uh, they I mean, are, well, how many games are left? Uh, they have uh, six What's more the games, record? And they are 3-2 and two right now, I believe. 3-2 is yeah. not good. Oh, no. so they're not doing that. They're well. not as good as they were last year, obviously. Oh, okay. But uh, right. we shall see. They played very Who'd they well. Play? Who'd they thump? They played, oh, God, what was the name of the, I, I remember the team was the Phoenix. It might have been the Broad Run Phoenix. You it's announced a, the game. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was. I know the team name is the Phoenix. How and, disengaged <clears throat> with sports are you? You announced the game and you don't yeah, remember the high wa- school they you played? You for them. Yes, I, well, I remember the name of our team. The what, winning the team. the Phoenix? That was the name of their mascot? That was, no, was the, the Phoenix, Phoenix? The Phoenix is the opposition, yeah. Oh, I know what it was. It was the Rock Ridge Phoenix. Thank Rock you. Ridge. Rock Where's Ridge. Rock Ridge? Where the hell is that? Uh, it's somewhere in Loudoun County. I don't know. Don't complain me being unengaged about that. I don't care where Rock Ridge is. <laughs> Rock Ridge. That school can wow. burn to the ground for all I care. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, calm whoa. down. Come How on now. You? What are you doing? Yeah, they come in at our house and try to play our team. Screw well, you, you Rock Ridge. Your house. You, you, you beat them. You beat them. Who's the star this year for the uh, Trust Tuscarora Eagles? Uh, Got to be... Uh, Leron. Leron Leron Davis yeah he uh, had over 200 yards All right, celebrity Leron. he most resembles I don't know he's wearing a helmet <laughs> it ain't Judge Kavanaugh as a kid that's for sure <laughs> I can guarantee you that one oh, white thank guy. you but uh, yeah, they they played well, and it was fun going in. Thirty five unanswered points. They only got the uh, Rockridge got their last touchdown towards the end of the fourth quarter. So there was never any doubt about the game. Who's so the star fun. cheerleader? Star cheerleader, probably Dawson Orlowski. <laughs> Stop that, you sicko! That's Dawson was actually uh, king of homecoming this year. He's a good kid. Dawson? Yeah, he's a good kid. He uh, he was friends with. Wait, Julie. wait! You just said cheerleader. Oh, you said yeah, Laron. Yeah, yeah you're allowed to have boy cheerleaders, Mike. The boy you. You're really confusing me right now. Are you, Are you know seriously the boy cheerleaders? mentioning a boy cheerleader? What about the girl cheerleader? I don't know any of them by name. I'm sorry. Oh, why, why do you oh, know the boy? Well, how come you know the boy? Because he's friends with Julia. And he also oh, he does yeah. flips. He's pretty. Oh, I bet he flips. Pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, is, he, wait, hold on. is are you being legitimate? I don't know whether you're being serious. I am. Or not. I mean, the male cheerleader is is accomplished. He like is he's he amazing. The star is he the? He's amazing. Yeah, he does backflips and and stuff like that. Does he's he do really, the really, devil's triangle? I don't know. I didn't <laughs> okay. ask. It didn't you, come you know up. What? Let's move on because Oscar's going to make this disgusting. Yeah, may, going to. <laughs> Yes. All right. So anyway, what's going on? So Go on. they do the game and they uh and everybody has a good and then Saturday is the day of the dance. And Robert is not going as with a date. He's going with a group of his friends. He's with uh Mo and he's with Aiden and Shemp. and Shemp and of course Tito. And uh, Julia has been dating He uh, doesn't have a date for the homecoming dance. No, they they went as a group. And I, I imagine there was some yeah. <laughs> oh That's well. Sad. That's sad. He's a good-looking kid. Yeah, does he too. Want a date? I, I think he picture. probably could have a date if he wanted one. I think he was more into the thing of going. Rose before hose. Yeah, and yeah. I bet th- I bet you there was some dancing. Although he had one complaint about the disc jockey at the homecoming. Oh, he doesn't get goon arm. <laughs> hey, goon hand. Goon hand him. Goon handed. <laughs> so, goon arm. Goon arm. Like, goon arm is. Like, I goon armed him. I goon handed him. Uh, all right, so goon so arm is when uh, Kristen, Kristen Wiig would do that thing with Lawrence Welk on Saturday night. <laughs> she got the goon arms. <laughs> goon arms. So, so he doesn't go. And Julia, I saw a picture of lovely, lovely homecoming. Picture. So proud of Julia. She for months now has been working with a good friend of ours, Haiti, on making a special dress for homecoming. And she made the dress. <clears throat> pardon me. That Bjork wear to the award show about I guess five or six years mm-hmm. ago. Maybe more than that. That is a goose with the head a around swan. Her, a swan with the head around her neck <laughs> hanging there. And I didn't realize the length she was going to this. I came into my house a few weeks ago and there's a piece of paper on our kitchen counter and I picked it up and it says, How to care for your feather boa. And I said, oh, okay, so this is what's happening. So they bought feathers and made a swan face. And did any of the beautiful kids dress. track with? A, did any of the kids track with the fact that she's wearing a Bjork dress? Almost everybody did. And so she they said, got the joke. And one of the things I love that she brings comedy into oh, that. Shtick. I mean, it, first of all, the picture. What she really looked beautiful. Yes, she really looked lovely. But the 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 fact that she's doing shtick. Is that's the and apple she, and she th- close to the tree? And there, she you know? planned this months out. I mean, when she said, "This is what I want to do," and Haiti said, "Well, we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of steps involved and all." And then she said, "Yeah, let's do it." So she stayed with it all and that she time. She made it herself. She uh, assisted by Haiti. Does yes, Haiti and, have a daughter? Haiti has yeah, uh, Bella. Does she make a dress with Bella? Uh, no, I think Bella's was off the rack. Mm. Mm. 
And, uh, what's, your, you, what's your point, Spick Scab Picker? That's just that's a little That awkward. sort of fell flat, didn't it? Now you wanted to go somewhere with it. You let me teach talk her? and stop being so defensive. Maybe well, no, you, st- you stopped talking and it was an awkward <laughs> silence. We like when to call did you it teach her to make her own dresses? When did I do that? <laughs> Mike, I pulled all the needles out of all the strawberries. <laughs> and, and I said, you, make those seem straight, Missy. Make it work. The dynamic <laughs> is this, is that if someone's going to make a dress and they have a daughter, it would be with their daughter. So right. to make it with somebody else's daughter and the daughter not care to make a dress with her as well is a little awkward in my eyes. What? Where's the connection with the, the is the lady like a seamstress that lives in the she neighborhood? Is, she is a seamstress. She makes stuff. She's Did very Carrie useful. help her? No, Carrie's useless. That, that's terrible to say as that. Far that's as your so, wife. No, but as far as sewing, Carrie couldn't have done that. So is this lady known in the neighborhood as somebody oh, that yeah. does very, this type very, of work? Oh, yeah, very, 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 very handy. she's a good friend of your family. Well, probably our best friend. And oh, Julia and Bella's our best there. friend. See? See, just a couple of questions, and I got to the bottom. You were going to try to make it something weird, and it wasn't. Like Rob maybe was a friend or something like no, that. No, I, I, was make, I would say that... He, that uh, he's she, doing shotgun radio. She, what he's doing is he's shooting a lot of things my, and see what no, messes no, up. No, no, no. What I was going towards was, is there a better relationship with your daughter and Miss Haiti than Haiti and her daughter? No, I think Miss Haiti and her daughter are actually quite close as well. well. Why didn't they make a dress together? Because uh, I don't think Bella wanted to wear a swan. Mm. Yeah, see, it was the special. You could have worn the black swan, and then your daughter could have been the white swan. That movie is not appropriate to bring up. Black swan. (laughs) Not okay. Why is that that not appropriate? I don't even know the movie. It's a very dark movie with plot lines. It is dark. Yes, we don't want to. Natalie Portman, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of of scissors in that movie. So. so. (laughs) And not seamstresses. Not seamstresses. No, no, no. No. Uh, The favorite moment I had with Robert uh, getting ready for homecoming, he wanted to wear a white shirt, black pants, and a bow tie. And I said, that's fine. Oh, man, come on. Can't you steer him away yeah. from that? And I said, what bow tie are you going to wear? He says, I have a black clip on bow tie. I said, Robert, if you do that, you're going to look like a waiter. Don't do that. And he says, well, right. what should I do? If, I you, s- if you tie your own, you'll just look yeah. like a dork. That's right. My son, the dork. <laughs> and so I got him. I said, go find a more colorful tie to wear with your shirt. And he did, and it's, it was nice. It was a beautiful tie. It was a red and blue check. Do you like these moments where we just tell you tell your stories and we just have fun? I, <laughs> Mike, no one's having more fun than me. <laughs> okay, all right. So he t- did you teach him how to tie a bow tie? Can you believe that Haiti didn't make a dress for Bella? <laughs> That's weird, right? <laughs> no, stop it. So do you stop have, being Oscar, so defensive. isn't it weird that I have friends? That's weird. <laughs> no, it's the same type of weird that you watch old movies with younger men on a regular basis. <laughs> Why isn't he watching it those movies with his father? Uh, but ignore again, him. he's swinging Listen, his rope. You just I'm going to land on something, baby. You just, you just ignore it. We Pretty soon there's going to be left. a fat joke. You only have no, one minute Your left. reaction says everything. Your reaction, only, your reaction okay. says nothing. Well, you, I am trying to get to the end of this story with you. She looked beautiful. <laughs> she, and she did. had a great time. And but your Robert, son, did he learn how to t- tie a bow tie? I said, Robert, yeah. it's just like tying a shoe. He says, Dad, I've tried. I can't do it. I said, all right, come I here. I can't do it either. And so I, I stand in front of him, and I tie it, and it's wrong. And I tie it, and it's wrong and I tie it and it's wrong and I realize like you're, you're tying it incorrectly yeah, but the reason I realize this is because I've never tied a bow tie on someone else and it's opposite you have to put it on first so what and you can't do that you with gotta a bow stand tie stand in back of them right you gotta stand right. in back of them so do. what happens right. is all the guys Aiden and Mo and all of Robert's friends are gathering at my house are before they, they go to the dance are they all bow tied up they're all wearing bow ties mm. that's their look this year oh okay so the, is it cool for those kids, I it's, guess, to do that. it's their look. I wouldn't say it was cool. Another thing I got a problem with with the youngsters of America, if you're wearing hard shoes, don't wear the kind of socks that you can't see below your ankles because that's what oh, they no were all show. wearing. Yeah, no-show no show socks. Oh, that's what's popular these days. Yeah, but then it looks like you're not wearing you socks with hard describe shoes. describe no-show socks, which, by the way, I wear almost exclusively when I play golf. Mm-hmm. Did you describe them as the kind of socks where you can't see below your ankles? I did. Mike, that's almost a quote. Okay. Yeah. I just. I, anyway. We can't so all the, wear tube socks every day, Mike. I don't know. You know? I, I. Yeah. I, Not I a big There's sock guy. I I don't, if I see on a golf course somebody wearing tube socks, I, I'll, I'll go in the other direction. Mike, I 100 percent agree with you. <laughs> but what if you're wearing hard shoes and formal dress? That's Should horrible. You, that, yeah. You never. You but know, that you is don't the do style. That. that is the style you, these days. Well, that I've style sucks. That, I, I have worn that where I wear black, uh, no show socks with. A uh, long pair of black pants because if you look, some of the athletes, right? You don't want a big like 
sock up your leg. Well, I, I perhaps. I just I think it's not They're usual, more and I don't like it. How many boys is this that wore bow ties? And uh, I think it was shoes? four that were actually uh, met at my house. Do you think they're going to all look like kind of, oh, there they are? I mean, isn't it kind of they're going as the, the uniform of the We Don't Have Dates crew? See, I think I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just I, asking. I don't know. I don't think that was really a big deal with Robert. I think Robert could have <laughs> had a day. You know? All right, but I also know that if I ask anything about boys and girls and Robert, he sort of clamps up. And okay. I've seen Carrie do it, so I just so he's that's fine. Yeah, that's that that there that goes the lap he, pack. You know what? With the with the world the way it is uh, nowadays, it's good. Uh, if he's late to the party, maybe they're into each fine. other. I told the polls. I told oh, no, um, the new world. Stop, stop it. Yeah. Now you can hit him. Now you can hit him. No, no, no. That. That's okay, it. Straight for the show. I, I'd like him to meet a poll. Okay, very good. So how did it went? So I'm, I, 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 what I had to do is I had to stand behind Robert and you know with my stomach to his back and. Basically, put my my chin on his shoulder yeah, as we sure, go to the big, the, yeah, the big mirror in father, front of the bar. The son moment. And I get it right on the first try, but it's just not a great moment when you're holding your son like that. And right. without explanation, Mo and Aiden come downstairs and say, well, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> you want us to come back? <laughs> yeah, you need 10 minutes? <laughs> but they had a, uh, turned out- What they are you a, doing <laughs> to your son? <laughs> So, oh my God, Mr. <laughs> Spiewak! Oh no wonder he's so. It's shy. upside down, guys. This isn't really happening. So they said <laughs> the dance sucked because the disc jockey only played Drake, and then they came back, and Robert and his friends hung out at our house. They made curfew, and the next day, uh, Robert and Julia and K- her boyfriend Caleb and Carrie and I took Robert to Jimmy's Old Town Tavern for wings for oh, his 16th birthday. Fantastic! And, and it was Robert's request, and Jimmy and Maureen were both there, and they treated us dynamite. So thank you, Jimmy. Still the Jimmy, place in the I world. miss Jimmy. Jimmy. I haven't seen Jimmy. This is the longest period of time I've ever gone. I count how long I, it's been since I've seen my kids, and I count how long it's been since I've seen uh, Jimmy. And to Uncle Dave, God bless you. Yes. Hang in there, Uncle Dave. Feel better, uh, my friend. Going through some tough health times right now. We love you, Uncle Dave. We give you a hard time, but we all love you on the Mike O'Mara Show, and I hope that makes a, uh, its way to you, Uncle Dave. Uh, feel better, my friend. Absolutely. So, yeah, Jimmy's was fantastic, and he, uh, Carrie loves He has these big 24-ounce bottles of mm-hmm. Red Stripe. That Carrie loves to drink, but I like that Jimmy kept coming over. And Jimmy was uh, had a bottle of Jenny, uh, the the Buffalo beer that he likes. Jenny to, Cream Ale. Yeah, yeah he Jenny. likes to drink it during the uh, Buffalo beer. games. And uh, he was just filling his beer with Carrie's beer. <laughs> it's fun. But Jimmy wonderful. treated us like a like like a million bucks, and you had a good weekend. I right? had a pretty yeah, good, weekend, had a good weekend, and uh, congratulations, good. Robert. You are 16 and prouder of you every day. Uh, you are handsome and kind, and you show wisdom and maturity. And I feel somewhere along the way, Carrie and I did something right because Aww. you're an excellent kid. May I give him a happy birthday? You wish? can shut the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> That's it. We got to take a break. She can get no. pregnant. She can get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Remember we will that. Take a break. Happy birthday, buddy. And we will come back with more fun. The uh, news you may not need. He can't right get here. He can't get pregnant. By the way, one last little thing on yes, that bow tie. Please. The way Rob helped uh, his son by standing in back of him and putting his head on his shoulder and doing it. Rob helped me with a bow tie back at a formal we were doing That's years true. ago. That's true. And it was a. Yeah, it's been like a thirty-year relationship since then. <laughs> yeah, because I woke up with a cranberry juice and my butt was bleeding. Hey, you That's know what, it. Mike? It lasted more than four hours, and I did call my doctor. <laughs> there you go. We'll be right back. Oh, it's a song. Oh, I love this remix. Carry your own bucket. Gonna play this at homecoming. <laughs> Bootstrap. Get the paddles. Move the meter. I'm in the ding dong. Theo Oscar, are you gonna get away soon? Gonna get away soon? Gonna get away? I'll have to circle back with you. What's the ROI? Can you delete right. that, please? I'm so sorry. No, that's yeah, the... climbing up the charts. Now Welcome we're back all to the uh, Mike O'Mara show. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, when did I start looking like my dad? Yeah, about 40 years ago. That's exactly. Well, there is something you can do in the fight against aging, and it's staring you right in the face. <laughs> Forhims.com, a one-stop shop for skincare, hair loss, and sexual wellness for men. Hims Anti-Aging Kit is a custom prescription cream tailored to your skin that can keep your skin looking youthful and smooth by reducing the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Fine lines? The secrets. Fine lines! It's a fine line! 
fine lines. The secret's not a secret. It's a uh, it's treta tretanonin. Yes. Tretan tretanoin. Treta splingson then? Tretanoin, Mike. Tretanoin. Tretinoin. Tretanoin. 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 Its results are backed by science. It takes seconds to apply. It increases collagen, the protein that keeps your skin firm, and you don't have to visit some fancy schmancy dermatologist to get it. Hims connects you with doctors online who will evaluate your skin needs and prescribe you a custom anti-aging treatment. All you need to do is take a couple of pictures and answer a few questions. I hate doctor's offices. That's why I love 4 It's your skin. Do you want to be a face in the crowd or the face in the crowd? Am I right? Right? Right. Order now and save $20 off your first month of the Hims Anti-Aging Kit. Lock in those looks now and get your first month of anti-aging for $20 off. Go to 4 slash TMOS care. That's 4 F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash T-M-O-S care. 4 dot com slash T-M-O-S care. News. News. The grueling 162-game Major League Baseball season ended yesterday. Well, for two of the six divisions, it ended in, in a tie. There really? You know. Has that the ever Chicago, happened? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm sure it's baseball. It's been going on for yeah. a thousand years. Uh, the Chicago Cubs and Milwaukee Brewers both finished with 95 wins in the National League Central, and the Colorado Rockies and the L.A. Dodgers both had 91 wins in the National League West. Each group was tied coming into yesterday's games. All four of them won, so it stayed tied. Today, there will be a one-game playoff between the Cubs and the Brewers and another between the Rockies and the Dodgers. I would imagine if you like sports like I like sports, that might be some Good viewing. That's amazing because uh, the- single games don't normally take on import in the regular season. This yeah, all comes cool. to this. Yeah, and it happens in baseball. I know the Red Sox had a one-game playoff against the Yankees back in 1978, one of the worst days of my life. That's how uh. I remember that. Uh, the two winners will advance to the first round of the playoffs, and the two losers will face off against each other on Tuesday for the chance to become the National League Wild Card team. And uh, then finally, the playoffs will officially start. So you got a lot of games to happen to uh, sort it all out. Uh, this is the first time since 2009 that there's been a tie at the top of a division. Uh, the American League playoff teams are the Red Sox, Ooh! the Indians, and the Astros, uh, with the Yankees playing the A's for the wild card. Yankees. Always <laughs> scary. Uh, in the National League, the only thing that's been decided is that the Braves are in. Everybody else has got to sort it all out. So, wow. you know, I don't think that, Rob, I'm not sure sweet. to answer your question. I don't know whether it's it bittersweet happen. without the Nationals. Not even in, like, the, the idea that they're even completely out. It's bittersweet. Yeah. Right. Here yeah, in DC very, Wall, I mean, last sweet. year it was a lot of fun, yep. even though we lost. Yeah. But even as a Red, Red Sox fan, you must be used to just winning. Uh, it does get uh, it gets tedious. Ah, 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 ah. Where Just will kidding. I put this ring? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> no, they sucked in the playoffs. <laughs> they had a great regular season and sucked in the playoffs. I hope they go deep. This is what. Uh, Red Sox Nation is looking to, so we'll see. And uh, your boy just got involved again because it's the playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs! <laughs> Kanye West went on one of his typical rants during SNL while wearing a Make America Great Again hat. He complained about how so much of the media is liberal, and that's why everything seems so one-sided. He talked about a democratic plan to take fathers out of the home and promote welfare. He said people bullied him backstage to not wear the hat. He talked about whether or not President Trump is racist, saying, quote, if I was concerned about racism, I would have moved out of America a long time ago. And he gave us this nugget of wisdom. Follow your heart and stop following your mind. That's how we're controlled. That's how we're programmed. Thank you, Kanye. I like when he complains that no one takes him seriously, then runs out on stage and does a song dressed as a bottle of Perrier. Yep. Uh, Kanye didn't get much of a response. Only a couple people clapped for some of his points. Several people booed. And there was a lot of awkward silence. And by the way, he was a last-minute uh, replacement on yes. Saturday night. Oh, yeah. was he? I forgot. Yeah, I, it, no, uh, uh, we blame Ariana Grande. 
That's right. Because Ariana she bailed Grande at the last moment to. and let us yeah. be exposed to this nonsense. Yes, that's why. That's why he was there. It's October. We've been talking about it. That means it's time to start thinking about Halloween. Halloween. But if you haven't figured out your costume yet, don't worry. Most people have it. Oh, thank God for that. Yay, rah, rah. Over 70% of people between 18 and 34 who plan on dressing up still haven't figured out their costume. I'd like to be the person that does that survey. Uh, over 50% <laughs> of people over 34 haven't figured it out either. And maybe over 1,000% don't give an ass. I would like to thank be the you. person that says, oh, I've known what I was going to be for months now. Yes, I have. Uh, if you need an idea, here's a costume that Urban Outfitters just started selling an Instagram influencer costume for $59. What is it? Uh, it's a, quote, minimalist, sporty, chic sports bra and cotton leggings. Uh, they recommend pairing it with sneakers, a blonde wig, and sunglasses. Is that where we are? Anyone? Anyone in the room? I know. I Anyone understand. Get it? Because okay, most, of these girl, most of these girls on Instagram are half naked. That's what they and wear. And their job is an influencer. Oh, okay. Well, from the pictures, it looks like a, a generic person you'd see on Instagram who posts a mix of sexy photos. So you're right. Hmm. Uh, also, food pics and inspirational quotes. It has uh, 47,000 uh, followers, too. That's uh, that's what that's about. Is if that you're really in shape, where we are? Good Lord. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm all for that. Yeah, that, yeah. I'd yeah. like to see some of well, those Well, Miley costumes. Cyrus was a uh, go-to years ago. Now right. it's the Instagram influencer. Okay. Yeah, we do. I'm going to no, dress no. what I always dress as, Tom Brokaw. <laughs> Hello, Tom Brokaw. <laughs> NBC <laughs> nightly news. <laughs> Halloween. What's the hollow? What's the holiday? At the at the Tom Brokaw NBC News. Uh, Rob Spiewak will be handing out a little airline bottle <laughs> to his neighbors in the neighborhood. I know what your favorite candy is Tom. Uh, what's that, Rob? Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Dakota <laughs> style Laffy Taffy. Uh, Montana Laffy Taffy, Tom Brokaw. Uh, a new study looked at the symptoms that people in every state Googled the most last year. And while uh, symptoms for illness, uh, while there are some boring ones like stress and sniffles, here are seven states that uh, really stand out. Number seven. Uh, uh, well, number we'll start with one number one, uh, okay. Wisconsin. Wisconsin had light colored poop. Oh, that's mm. with the most mm -mm. Googled. Uh, Mississippi had gas. Yeah, the diet. I got the gay. The diet. Uh, uh, Idaho had symptoms of E. coli. <laughs> cook, those, In Idaho. cook those potatoes more. Potatoes. Nebraska had signs of low testosterone. Oh, holy husker. Oh, no. uh, New Mexico had phlegm, but misspelled it. They spelled it F L E M. Phlegm. Phlegm. Hey, what's green in ice skates, Mike? <laughs> Peggy Phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> South Carolina. Oh, they had dark green stool. Oh, uh, that, that comes Carolina. from too much booberry. See. And then Indiana, the great state of Hoosiers. Yes. Indiana had uncircumcised problems. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got an infection down there. Also, maybe you know the problems Gross. themselves are uncircumcised. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but that's a good mic. If you're having problems with your uncircumcised penis, yes. go to the website and look for tips. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> tips. Thank you. Uh, there's a nine-year-old kid in South Dakota named Javier Amos yes. who's been battling leukemia. And the best news is he's now in remission. Yes. Mr. Spiewak can rely... Uh, can relate to that uh, but he also he just did something pretty cool for his classmates last month i know you'd like this story mm. the make a wish foundation recently approached his family and said they'd grant any wish he wanted so he could have gone to disney world yes. uh, or he could have met his favorite athlete mm. but instead he asked them to throw a pizza party for all his friends at school the make a wish people showed up at his school last month and threw everyone a huge pizza party that also included zoo animals bounce houses and laser tag javier got to ride to the party in a police car and when he showed up everyone was waiting for him with signs they made and they were all chanting his name That's awesome head of make a wish in south dakota said he had never seen anything quite like it and yes it sounds like javier's pretty popular at school these days that's, that's pretty great cool. that is so cool as a family who are and you know personally about that organization right? as a recipient of robert's make a wish trip here's what you need to know folks any kid that battles cancer not even the terminal cases if you go through the process make a wish contacts you and makes the kids wish come wow. true and that kid is an amazingly selfless child but every kid deserves this that deals with that 
And if you want a, our organization to support, what I love about Make-A-Wish, they spend almost all their time under the radar. Mm. They just make it happen. And they don't look for glory. It's odd that a story like this even gets out. And right. so if you want an organization to support that is more about the kids than the glory, I recommend them highly. Amen. Well done. And now a little something, something. There's a 73-year-old grandma named Penelope Peterson in Titusville, Florida. Now, Titusville, Florida, where is that? East of Orlando, south of Daytona Beach, and north of Melbourne. I can almost picture it. On Friday, she heard a noise on her back porch. She figured it was her cat trying to get in, but when she opened the curtains, she saw that it was actually a strange man, and he was totally in the nude. Oh, no! So Penelope did the one thing she could think of to scare him off. She popped out her dentures (laughs) and shouted, (laughs) Mm. This is exactly what she said. I have the quote. Yes. She popped out her dentures and shouted, Grandma, no teeth. (laughs) (laughs) It worked. The guy ran off and left his clothes behind. Uh, The cops eventually tracked down 28-year-old Axel Rivera, wandering naked through the neighborhood. He's been charged with burglary and exposing sexual organs. Didn't know they got that special. Uh, The cops believe he was drunk at the time, although in the great state of Florida, it might be easier to identify something out of the ordinary if you're sober, as opposed (laughs) to being drunk. That's the way it works. Ah! Grandma! No tea. <laughs> Grandma was drunk also was the entire neighborhood on that particular <laughs> night. Uh, we'll take a break. Come back with the audio vault. Rob Spiewak right here on the Michael Mara Show. Informed. Intelligence. Irreverence. Political Persuasion. Hey, it's Chris Wrights with Political Persuasions. This week, Mike and I preview the Kavanaugh Ford testimony. Is President Trump a global laughingstock? Plus, your letters, we got a lot of them, and we're going to read them. Tune in. You can download Political Persuasions at politicalpersuasions.com, iTunes, Stitcher, and wherever fine podcasts are found. We will be taking a hiatus from Political Persuasions this week and be back next week when the entire Kavanaugh thing has come to a resolution mm-hmm. yes. for our expert analysis. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Talk Space is the only online therapy company that lets you message a licensed therapist anytime, anywhere, using your computer or the Talkspace mobile app. With Talkspace, anyone can get therapy. This is very, very healthy for so many people for much less money than traditional therapy. Look, I've done regular therapy. It's expensive. Yes. Talkspace gets you great therapy, and it doesn't have to break the bank. You can start right now. Excuse me. Burp. Uh, you can start right now with a licensed therapist. Let's talk about that. That understands how you live your life today. No appointments, no leaving the office, and no judgment. Rob? <laughs> You talk with the same therapist every time, and they'll always be there to listen and help you make positive changes. I love Talkspace. Sometimes all you need is someone to listen. Check out Talkspace.com and read about Olympian Michael Phelps and how therapy helped him. It can help you, too. He's a wonderful spokesperson because he's used Talkspace, and it's helped him. The Talkspace platform is over 2,000 licensed therapists who are experienced in addressing life challenges that we all face. To match with a perfect therapist for a fraction of the price of traditional therapy, go to Talkspace.com slash TMOS and use the code TMOS to get $45 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's TMOS and Talkspace.com slash TMOS and start feeling better today. Let's open up the audio vault for the very first day of October, Rob Spiewak. Uh, everybody has an off day in the broadcast booth i have to ask you did you watch? you didn't have a chance to watch the giants game did you i did i did i watched oh, you did the watch the giants game game. yesterday yeah i watched the it's a it's official i put it on my show prep being a giants fan now officially sucks well i mm. think they it, suck mm. maybe they even suck. Uh, and it's not yeah, i was gonna blame eli i'm oh? not gonna blame eli they they refurbished their offensive line and they still suck you're not gonna <laughs> be able to let a great quarterback be great when he doesn't have time to throw yeah. so that's what it is and by the way you know what even when they are holding them in the last uh, you have a stupid ass defensive back <laughs> do something stupid because he's not doesn't have the athleticism to keep up with the receiver so you might as well grab him by the pants sure for Christ's sake giant suck you know what they should have done <laughs> They should have goon-handed him. 
Yeah, they should have goon handed him. Absolutely. No, that would have gotten a penalty. But I one. think uh, Jim Nance was perhaps distracted yesterday because this is what he said when he was trying to describe the Giants bench. You know, where the, right. uh, the players that aren't playing, they sit on the bench, right? Of course. Giant bitch. Bench had everyone with their arms up in the air. Giant bitch. Giant bitch. By Giant the way. Giant bitch. Bench <laughs> had everyone with their arms up in the air. Rob, uh, I am I am considering this based on now. I think I've knocked out three of his columns, mm. and uh, and so I have. I have to tell you this. I think I may have the Jim Nance Golf Digest column of the month. Oh, good! Because it's so Nancy. It is so oh. Nancy. He talks. What's his back topic? About, yeah, what's his uh, topic? This week it's about a dead golfer uh, that used to live at. This man has such a photographic memory of these moments. And when I see the plaque dedicated to him, I always pause for a moment and put my hand on it. Because our connection is I never knew him. He loves death. He loves death more than you do. Wow. Is he a person of interest in this death? You cannot refute death. You you can't. Someone died. They can't counter what he says about the man. Now that I live on Pebble Beach with my brand new home and my new wife and my new family, it's just fascinating to... I think of his lifeless body when I'm in my wine cellar. (laughs) And he gave me his Bentley (laughs) go-kart. You got it. 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 Rob just sold me on it. I'm going to do it. I'll I'll bring it in tomorrow. (laughs) I will will select, and they will all be direct quotes from the Jim Nance Golf Digest column, which is so... It's it's the only time of his life that he gets to go full Nancy. And he kind of likes all the things he has. So it's a, it's very, very cool. Does he ever and write he, this in the column, Mike? Giant bitch. Bench had everyone with their <laughs> arms up in the air. <laughs> so. It's Tony Romo who's working with him, right? Is that yes, a, who's that's working a with Nance? That is the parent. Tony Romo's pretty cool. He's very different. He's very different, but he's very opinionated and kind of gives Nance a little pushback. I'm not sure whether they're getting along all that well. Uh, no, you know they, what? They, that's okay. They bicker sometimes. That's they good. Bicker. He's fun. like, because uh, Tony like, will call the play before the play is given. Right. Oh, and that's going to drive Nance crazy. Nance doesn't have that skill set. Yeah, He's just he calling like what that. happens. Yeah. He's like, and he's like, like Nance will ask him a question, and yeah. Tony Rome will be like, well, what do you mean by that? Ah. What's that question mean? Well, he's it's not, very cool. He's it's kind of like our show. You he's know? not it's ground great. him down like Phil Sims yet. He'll get there. Oh, God. It's great. Had GM. Um... I have done a thing like this, what I'm about to play in the past. I have had my friends do this to me, and I've done this to my friends. I've okay. locked them in a car trunk oh. just to see what it's like. The spacious, I was proving the spaciousness of my first Caprice's after, car trunk. After you're lifting weights? After you're lifting weights backstage. Wait, do you, would you like to give us the friend that you did this to? Of course, it was Brad. All the stories go back to Brad. Okay. But he locked Brad in the trunk. But And Brad locked me in the trunk. Uh, but yeah. here's, but that's a horse of a different color because in California, it looked to be at a sporting goods store. When friends locked their friend in a gun safe. Now, it appears that the gun safe, if you make too many attempts to open it too quick, it won't open. So the friend is stuck in the gun safe. Dude, it won't open. That's the combination Dude. pad. <laughs> Dude, we've done it so many times, it's locked. Dude, we did it so much times. Wait, Junior, don't freak out. Don't Hold freak up. out. Hold on. Smart don't freak people. out, bro. It's locked. It bro. locked. Bro. Oh my god, dude. You're locked in there. Dude, bro. Go call a worker. Dude. You don't call wait, a worker. Dude. Is there like a like amount of time we have to wait? Okay, okay, Junior, calm down. We're Dude. We're still standing here, but we're gonna go call a worker. A worker. Yeah, these are the air pockets. He can yeah. he has air. Uh as of today, he's still in there. <laughs> No, they actually and called 911. Dead. Pony, I was joking. <laughs> I'm dying over here. That's um, like giving me a panic attack. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> because even a big that's gun funny. safe is not that big. And you would think that's, what, right, that's something that a kid would do. They look to be like 22 years old. I understand, bro. That's right, dude. Um, right. Orker. Great rock and roll voice we lost over the weekend. And uh, I didn't realize he was this old. And they also didn't reveal the reason he is dead. We were yet to find that out. Marty Ballin, who was one of the founding members of Jefferson Airplane, and Starship, and sang on their good records. He passed away at age 76. That's his lead vocal. The high voice. And you can't, even though he formed Jefferson Starship, you can't blame him for We Built This City. He had nothing to do with that record. So. Oh, I love that song. I like that song. Yeah. Really? These songs you're playing right now suck. Thanks for your support.
I'm just saying. These where, do not suck. These are, are the great records. The these hits? are all top 20 hits. Ah. Da, da, da. <laughs> it was a Jefferson airplane crash. <laughs> Safe hope. There were no survivors. Safe uh, hope. <laughs> Safe hope. Kobe Bryant. We built this city rules. It does not rule. It's a horrible record. <laughs> All right, let's It might have killed top 40. Uh, okay, thank you. Though, for people that are excited to see Kobe Bryant come back to play basketball, and there were rumors that he mm, might consider mm. it, don't hold your breath. LeBron James is now with the Lakers. Rumors were that you were going to come out of retirement and uh, uh, play with him on the team. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> I actually heard that when I was in Mexico for my birthday. Uh-huh. Kobe's training like crazy. I'm saying, well, I'm sitting back with a margarita. What yeah. you talking about? Yeah. I don't know what kind of training y'all talking about. Yeah. That's not true. No. No. God, no. No. Yeah. Never. No. Not a chance. You're done. Zip zero. So don't count on that. So there that's not go. happening. Way and go, uh, big Kobe. news for all you pot enthusiasts. If you're planning to take an airplane ride, you're going to love this. Los Angeles International Airport has updated its policy to allow travelers to pack marijuana when flying. And every person who was happy to hear that missed their flight. <laughs> That's your magic audio vault. Have a great Monday, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. Goon hand. Goon hand. Goon hand. If you have a message for our Tuesday mailbag, send it to Rob with two Bs at MikeOmaraShow.com. Our mailing address, TMOS, Box 32101, Washington, D.C., 2007. A very happy, happy 16th birthday to Robert mm. the Third. That boy. Good boy. And congratulations. And uh, did, does he have the license? Is he? No, he's still in the learning permit process. All right. Very good. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, this is Mike O'Mara saying remember to register and vote. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Giant bitch, bitch, everyone with their arms up in the air. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment.